I've been listening to you playing for for an awful long time, and uh, uh, not to go too far back, but I just wondered if maybe you could uh, pinpoint what in your life made you decide to go into uh, becoming a, a professional musician, a professional drummer. Uh, you mean how 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 I got interested in doing that? Yeah. Well, uh, when I was a kid, I took drum lessons. Like when I was eight, I was tapping on all kinds of things. You know, I was playing. I made a little drum set out of tin cans and sticks. So my folks gave me lessons. Then I got into a few orchestras and some youth bands. Mm -hmm. Got a taste of some recording. And uh, decided that that's what I'd really like to do. And then I started playing in some clubs in L.A. when I was like 15, 16. Mm -hmm. rock and, roll. and I really enjoyed playing the rock and roll more than jazz. And so... Uh, from there, I got a job with the Everly Brothers, and from there, I, you know, I said that's a mistake. I don't mean. How old were you when you were with the Everly Brothers? I was seventeen. And and why would you go on the road with them? Yeah, I was on the road with them. I was going to school at the time, so we travel during the during the summer, and uh, and then finally, I decided I took a year of college about when I was eighteen, and uh, was going to be a teacher. I decided that I really wanted to get into recording. And well I I decided that when I was about fifteen. I, I started doing little demo things. I was in a band with a guy named Mike Post and we worked around and uh one thing led to another and I decided this is what I wanted to do. Did you have a lot of encouragement from home? No, actually well they were there. They they put up with my plan. <laughs> Yeah. They wanted me to be a lawyer or something. What what what, you, what did you want to teach? What what subject? Oh, music. Really? Yeah. So did you study at all, like you know, keyboards or any of this stuff too? Oh yeah, I sure did. All through high school and uh, into college for a year. Did you did you find that that helped you playing drums? Yeah, I did actually a lot. And I listened to, a lot to records. And uh, I used to. When I was real young, I used to play all these records, Bill Haley and the Comets, and Elvis Presley, and really Everly Brothers, and all those guys, you know. I just loved it. I was real fanatic about it. Well, how did you hook up with the, how did you meet the Everly Brothers? Well, well, I was working this club down uh, in Hollywood. Yeah. And their bass player happened to drop by, heard me play, and uh, asked me if I wanted to be uh, in the Everly Brothers band. They gave me a book, you know, at that time they had like a little book. I took it home and checked it out and, you know, gave it some thought and I said, yeah, that's what I do, you know, I really want to do that. Oh, I must have flipped you out, man. You must have really been a... Oh, oh, it was a big thrill, you know. We threw it all over like in a, in a bus, a uh, little bus, stuck to a bus, we threw it all over the Midwest. That's what they played mainly. We went to England a lot. We, uh, we played over there in uh, 63 and 64. And uh, that was great working over there. I met the Beatles, you know, and, and we did a tour with, uh, oh, it was a great tour. It was uh, Mickey Most and uh, the Rolling Stones, Bo Diddley, Little Richard, the Everly Brothers. It was a terrific tour. Yeah. You, really you don't know who uh, who the, who was, who was the drummer with Bo Diddley at that time? Do you, do you remember? No, I can't remember. Guy, I remember Jerome Green, the percussionist, but I don't, I don't remember who the drummer was at that time. I was trying to find out who was the guy that, who was the original guy that played on, you know, drums on like the Bo Diddley stuff, you know. Uh, I don't know. He sure made a big impression on people. Didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, mean I, I, I heard it was a guy named Frank Kirkland who was on 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 some of that chess stuff, you know, the sessions and things like that, but. Uh, I don't know. When, when you were listening to records, did you, uh, you'd mentioned a little bit of a jazz background. Was that an influence? Did you study that jazz too? And oh, yeah. 